and welcome to Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. My name is Brendan. This is my show. Damn, look at this guy. This is my new microphone. Had it set up for a couple days, but I wanted to play around with it a bit more before I really used it for a stream. So I will be debuting it today. How does it sound? Is my audio completely off? I fully expect it to be. <laughs> I fully expect my audio to be off. Sounds crisp but quiet. Okay, I will up it a bit if I can. I'll show you uh, this as well while I'm doing this. You can see, see it there in the corner? My, my mixing board for it. That would work. Does that work? Bubbles coming through louder. Better, worse. I mean, I. I guess I'll just keep talking until, uh, yeah, it sounds better. Okay, cool. The one thing I've noticed is like, well, my headphones connect directly into the board so I can kind of like monitor my own levels, but it's one of those things where like when it's at this level right now, it sounds really loud in my headphones. Um, and my headphones are not even turned up all that much. So it's just, I don't know, it gets really weird. Um, but then again, I'm not necessarily a super big audio guy. Uh, as far as this kind of thing goes, I'm, I'm I'm very much learning. Oh, it turns out my volume is also super high. Okay, well we'll we'll uh, we'll leave it at that for now and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> uh, any of the other viewers in the in the chat, uh, if you want to let me know, if you have any thoughts about it, please do. Um, I'm happy to hear from you. Yeah. I really like this microphone. I really do. I was doing some, like you'll see my one of my guitars in the background there. I was doing some some music stuff to try it out, and I I really like it. It's super good. Um, that means I'll be retiring the old Yeti, which is a great mic for the price and all that. Me and me and Sam have been talking about it. It's a great it's a great mic for the price, but you know, this just has so much more control over it. Um. And you know it doesn't record like every every little thing in the background. I opened my window today so I could get some a little bit more airflow in here, which is nice. Um, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> other than that, um, general announcements. Uh, March sixth, rewrite our new book club by me and Sam AC. MC Pepper Pockets himself will be starting first episode. Uh, we're going to be doing The Last Wish by Andre Sapkowski, um, which is the first book in the Witcher series. Uh, that's going to be a bi-weekly thing, and we're really excited about it. Um, it's also going to be released as a podcast. Like, the audio is going to be released as a podcast. So there's that as well. Um, yeah. We're really, we're really excited about that thing. Oh yeah, we're gonna be joined by our good friend Martin as a guest host. Uh, there's gonna be a variety of guest hosts over the course of the show, uh, friends of both of ours that uh, are into reading and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, um, should be good. We're excited, we're very excited. Um, yeah, today we're gonna be continuing working on uh, the short story I started yesterday so uh, we can start with that and uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I got nothing. I thought I had a lot more than I do, but I don't, so oh well. 
is what it is. I do realize I just didn't, I did not update the uh, episode title, so I'm going to do that really quick here. Uh, yeah, this mic is still going to pick up a lot of the keyboard sounds, which is fine. I like those sounds. Uh, I think they're kind of part of being a writer and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it w because of the shock mount and all that, it's not going to pick up any thumps or thuds or anything. So that should be pretty good. Um, yeah. So let's do this. Cool. So this is a short story I was working on yesterday. Uh, I started it, I think, two weeks ago on stream and uh, yeah I flushed it out a lot yesterday um, it's coming along quite well so yeah all right place and then I need to be able to navigate that stuff Okay. Whoops.
kind of deviating a lot from my regular process with this one in the fact that I'm just kind of winging it, <laughs> seeing where it goes more so than my usual <clears throat> sort of brand of planned chaos. I'm feeling a bit right now <laughs> of like not really sure of certain things uh, like characters course of actions and, and why they're taking those courses of action. But I mean, that that's all part of the process, right? There's different ways of getting to the same end goal.
this up real quick because uh, I keep having to repeat it <laughs> but I should uh, should just set it up as a night clock command work.
Excuse me. today. Alright, I'm gonna do that. See you, Herbie. Just to zoom in. Go 
wasn't a fox focus for that year. So dramatic questions here that I need to answer. Who is the serial? What does the serial know? You want the seer to be the master. The other question that I've been kind of playing around with is when slash where did, does Gary learn magic in the first place? Is it when he's Kevin and the other in, in like the plane or is that something he picks up when he comes to earth? And for in that case, if it's something he picks up when he comes to earth, is Marcy the same or is Marcy different?
magic is not from their plane, then what makes their plane special or different from a standard earth world? Are there only two planes? Are there different planes? Do those planes have other properties? I mean, in a certain sense, this story is portal fantasy, right? not part of the game, but the idea of taking someone from one world, sending them through a black hole or a portal into another world that's different from their own. Generally, portal fantasy involves sending somebody from our world into a fantasy world. Um, great examples being uh, the Finovar Tapestry by Guy Gabriel K, for example, is a really good portal fantasy. Um, trying to think of some other good examples i think farscape to a certain extent is a portal fantasy though it's more of a sci-fi piece uh so there is that but still i think it's it's in the same vein um what else what else is worth noting i know i know at least a few more Uh, oh, yeah, of course. The Chronicles of Narnia is a, is a portal fantasy series. Um, uh, Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Uh, apparently Coraline. I've never read Coraline, which is probably a travesty because uh, I love Neil Gaiman. But I should definitely do that. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland is definitely a portal fantasy. That's that's actually a good point. Um, I consider Stargate a little bit different. Um, but you're very right. It is it is that sort of it is a like explicitly it has a portal. You go through it. It's a new world every time. I suppose like in my head. Stargate is kind of in my head Stargate is kind of a weird example because as much as it has an explicit portal they don't use that portal like they use that as like a, a transportation device rather than traveling through space they could theoretically travel through space and get to all the planets so it's just like a, a much faster way of traveling within their world. Um, whereas for me, Portal Fantasy is really a lot about that. Um, the idea of the outsider learning about a culture in a lot of ways. Um, but yes, explicitly, it is about a literal portal. <laughs> looking at this list of like crowd rank portal fantasy books it's got some neat stuff on it um i can, I can show this wheel of time is not a portal fantasy whatever <laughs> that's not a thing um 
Harry Potter is to a certain extent, though it's really only the first book. Okay. I didn't know that about Stargate. I still think, though, if you look at it as a whole, though, those would be the exceptions, not, not the... Like, not the mean. Um, yeah. There's, a, like, The Wizard of Oz, for, to a certain extent. Uh, though, again, that gets complicated, because is it a dream? Is it not a dream? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I knew that much. I guess my point was that the aliens in the... The aliens who built the Stargates had to travel through space to set them up. So it's really much more like a series of teleporters than it is a Portal Fantasy style... Uh, piece, you know? Three tropes page. Let's see uh, what book is in here. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. I suppose I've only seen the movie, so my uh, my response is a little weird about that. Um, about the dream and all that, but you know, whatever. What it is, so yeah, Stargate definitely. So interestingly enough, um, this kind of talks about the same things I was talking about where you know they they include Stargate Atlantis and Stargate Infinity and Stargate Universe but they don't really have Stargate proper on the list I also think that uh, Stargate is much closer in style to uh, Star Trek in general. Um, so there is certainly that. Um, you know, just because they're going to an unknown place with an unknown culture doesn't necessarily make it a portal fantasy. Um, you know. I mean, they're already living in a weird world, and they're explorers. I mean, that's kind of their job. Portal Fantasy isn't really about explorers so much as it's about um, somebody who's caught in between, I guess. If that makes any sense. I think that's a fairly reasonable definition of what a portal fantasy is. I wonder what else is in here. <laughs> Power of the Duck, yeah. Digimon, 
for sure. Freaking out with all the bad guys. Oh yeah, Vision of Escaflone. That's a great example. I love Escaflone. What a good show. so weird <laughs> I like it Tron Tron's a good example as is Labyrinth um, not consider Neverwhere Tale, honestly. But that might be just me. Anyways. Uh, it's 12.50. I'm going to take a 10 minute break and then I'm going to go back to working on the draft. I did want to talk a little bit about genre and stuff though, because uh, it's fun, <laughs> and because I want to kind of clarify what I was trying to do, in, in a sense. So, yeah, cool. Anyway, it's break time. I will be back. Oh, I was totally talking about stuff on the screen, and I didn't even have the screen up. <laughs> Way to go, way to go. I was gonna say I had I had this up, uh, the TV tropes page, but so yeah, it's break time. I will be back. 